Ahoy there, cruisers, and welcome to another episode of Ben and David. We're going to give you some quick fire money saving tips and hacks to help you save a bit of dough on your next cruise. So let's get on with the show. So how do you save money when it comes to booking your cruise? Well, first of all, it would come down mainly to your cruise stateroom. Mm -hmm. So you can either book a smaller inside cabin or even go for a, a window cabin that has an obstructed view or a balcony that has an obstructed view. Usually these are just a little bit of a lifeboat or something in the way that don't block much of the view, but are much cheaper than a normal cabin, aren't they? Another way to save money on booking your cabin is to book a guaranteed cabin. You can get big savings with these. It just means that you book the type of cabin, so a balcony cabin, but you don't get to select exactly where it is on the ship. Yep, and when it comes to booking your cruise, book it off season, so not in the summer holidays, Christmas holidays, Easter, all of the big holidays, Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. book it out of these seasons because they tend to be much cheaper as well, don't they? And quieter, which is quite nice as well. Yeah, yeah and you've got to make sure the time of year that you actually book the cruise as well. Usually you'll see massive discounts on the cruise lines during wave season. This usually tends to be January to March. Plus, cruise lines often put out deals throughout the year, like free drinks packages, buy one, get one free, buy one, get one half price for a, a cruise member. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just look out for those cruise deals. And if you've got a cancellable rate, I found that a really hard word to say. Below. Check if any offers come out and that it might be cheaper for you to cancel your cruise and rebook. Also look at a repositioning cruise. So this is a cruise where it starts and ends in a different port. You can get some great offers on these. Absolutely. We've done a few transatlantic cruises and had the best time because we love a few sea days, yep. don't we? pure relaxation, just stranded at sea with no mobile phone signal. Honestly, it is the best. It's like being in your own little world for a few days. And the opposite of that we did earlier this year on Princess Cruises, where we did the repositioning from Rome to Southampton. Yeah. And we had so many ports. It we was We literally amazing. ticked off the whole of like- I think we med. visited about seven countries and about 12 ports. It was seriously fantastic. And it was much cheaper because as we said, it's a repositioning cruise. When you come to book your cruise, you'll be offered to add flights and travel insurance. Sometimes it could be a good offer, while other times it's not. And it's actually cheaper to book your flights separately and to get your travel insurance separately as well. So round one of tips all has to do with cruise drinks. The first mm -hmm. one that we would have to say is always bring your own water bottle so you can use the self-refill machines to fill them up whenever you're thirsty. Bottles water can be expensive. And if you're on a hot cruise, you want to be well hydrated. So take your own water bottle and you can fill it up at the buffet or in any of the bars. Yes, and if you're not going to have a drinks package, look out for the discounts of the day. Usually on most cruise lines we've been on, there's a drink of the day. So a cocktail of the day, which is usually about half price. So look out for those. And if you've sailed on the cruise line before, or if you're a member of their loyalty program, keep an eye out for any special offers, such as drinks vouchers in your room, or go to any member events because there's usually a free drink or two when you go there, or a drinks voucher. Yeah, gotta get those freebies, don't we? Also look out for any promotions in any of the shops, as well as the art auction, because they also give you free drinks, but be careful, don't have too many, and you might end up spending more money on a piece yeah, of Yeah, you'll end up spending like a 30 <laughs> grand painting. Yeah, Not so enjoy the free champagne, but don't go too wild. Walk away. Keep your arms down, don't be <laughs> flailing around. <laughs> Make sure you don't waste wine. So if you've got some wine over, say you bought a bottle of wine during your meal, make sure you ask your wine server to cork it for you because then you can drink it on another night. Also, check what wine you can take on board or any other drinks. So just check with the cruise line if you can take any alcohol on board with you. Yeah, many cruise lines allow one bottle per adult per stateroom up to a maximum of two per stateroom. So keep a lookout for that. If you're looking to buy a dining package, don't wait until you're bored. Book it before you get on board and you can say- Don't wait until you're bored. Sorry. <laughs> Are you gonna get bored booking a dining package, you board David? The ship. Don't wait until you get on board to do it. Do it before you sail, as you can save up to 30%. And don't forget to keep an eye out on any offers on pre-cruise purchases, such as 30% off or buy and get on free. And these are usually applied to drinks packages, dining packages, photo packages, you name it. Just sign up to your uh, Cruise Lines email list or follow blogs, follow us on Facebook and social media and we'll post the offers there as well. Yeah, and an extra little tip. Most people don't know that not many people dine in the speciality restaurants on the first night. So if you book for the first night, you can get some massive discounts as well, can't you? Yeah, up to 50% off I've seen before. Wow. So the next couple of tips are all about excursions and going ashore when you're on your cruise. Absolutely. Our biggest tip would be to do some homework before and don't book a cruise line excursion. 
version Shh, don't tell the cruise lines this but seriously you can save an absolute fortune by booking locally but we do recommend to have a look on TripAdvisor or yeah. another review site just to check that the tour operator is reputable and can be trusted and you can save massive amount of money way over 50 percent on most tours can't you yes and there's also other third party operators that operate in all the ports such as cruisingexcursions.com as well yeah and you can do the hop on hop off, hop off bus which we did in a few um, ports as well it's usually only about 25 dollars each and when you look at some of the cruise excursions which basically do exactly the same thing they can be costing a hundred dollars upwards each exactly can't they? and another big tip to save money is to check the local transport particularly in bigger cities so if you just fancy doing a bit of sightseeing in barcelona for example you can just get off the bus and make your own way around either by foot or by the train or by the metro yeah, anything like that definitely be brave you get to see these cities as if you were a local as well you get to go on the underground so the subways the trains the buses and it's so so cheap isn't it you yeah. can save an absolute fortune it's all in the planning just make sure you plan what you're going to do in the ports have a look online and also look for prices of things if you're going to be taking taxes this is another way to save money so you know you're not going to get ripped off when you're in the port so the next tip is about currency when you are traveling our first tip is that we like to use a currency card because it means that we get a great exchange rate we can use our card in the shops and we can also withdraw from cash machines as well in the local currency yeah and this is a good thing for safety as well especially while you're in different ports not that you're going to be mugged or anything but it's great to carry all of your cash in a card rather than carrying big bundles of different currencies isn't it because you can keep track of what you're spending you can see your balance and you can see all the different things you've been spending on so yeah on the one we have we have an yeah. app for our phone so we can instantly check how much we've got left how much we've got how much we've spent just to keep an eye on things because seriously when you're on holiday and vacation things can get out of control quite easily yeah, can't they can. so next up when buying actual currency so the physical paper type make sure you buy it before you uh, go on holiday and make sure you research to see what currencies are used in the particular ports if you're going to be buying currency at the airport or in a port or usually at the place where you're going to you're not going to get a great rate and you'll probably get ripped off absolutely and if you're traveling to the caribbean and places like that you'll often find that the us dollar will be accepted in all of these places so don't go out and buy different little bits of currency for all of the different mm -hmm. islands us dollars usually accepted everywhere and when it comes to settling your bill make sure that you're paying in the currency of the ship and not the currency of your card so we have this a lot because the ships that we tend to travel on are either in euros or in us dollars and sometimes we get our bill in british pounds but the exchange rate they give you is terrible it is not a good exchange rate exactly so we advise that you always settle your bill in the currency of the ship rather than the currency of your card okay our next block of tips are all general money saving tips for your entire vacation yeah so remember when you're buying drinks and things on board you don't need to tip so you don't feel the need to over tip and when you do buy a drink it'll actually say how much gratuity you've already paid on the price so when you get the receipt you don't have to add anything to it unless you want to because it's already been taken care of for you so next up is putting if you're traveling with children you can actually put a restriction on the cruise card to stop them from spending loads of money especially in things like the arcade so you can go to guest services and ask them to put a cap on the re or a restriction of how much money they can spend so another thing you'll see when you're on a cruise is lots of shopping areas and, yeah. and shops and little special deal corners where do they'll have do not miss sales yeah do not miss sales we've got all of these watches at a half price seriously though don't get overhyped by this we recommend that you check what you want if you see something that you like check it on amazon or something else on the internet just to see how much it is online because you'll often find even though it's like oh my god massive 50 percent sale yeah. you can find it much cheaper at home there's no such thing as a 10 dollars designer watch usually they're pretty rubbish quality goods and it's like a ten dollar jumble sale really yeah but even for bigger things where you've got four five hundred pound watches or five four five hundred dollar watches and aftershaves perfumes and booze whilst on board mm -hmm. are usually a little bit more expensive we do recommend you check online quick check on amazon or something just to see how much it is on there will give you a good idea of whether it's a good deal or not next if you're going to be driving to the port make sure that you do a little bit of research about port parking and also have a little comparison online to see what's going to be the cheapest there's usually various companies particularly in the bigger ports a bit like airport parking really all competing against each other so make sure you have a look around compare the prices and get the best deal for port parking in the area because this can be really expensive you know when you get there and it's an extra 400 bucks on top of the price of your cruise <laughs> books <laughs> <laughs> all right americano 
I'm trying to be international. So a few more random tips that we've got. Make sure you look out for spa treatment days on board. Usually towards the end of the cruise, things will start getting cheaper, which is really good. Yeah, particularly on port days as well, they usually do spa offers. Also, don't get caught up with buying photos on the ship. This can be very, very costly. Take your phone, you've got a camera phone now, then good quality iron off. Well, seriously, some of these packages that we've seen whilst on board run into hundreds of dollars. And for that price, you could buy a pretty decent camera. Yeah, exactly. We recommend disconnecting at sea as well. So don't buy the ship's Wi-Fi have a break just enjoy your holiday don't pay all those extra extra charges just put your phone on to airplane mode yeah so you don't get any unexpected charges on your phone and just enjoy your holiday and relax quite honestly wi-fi packages are eye-wateringly expensive usually on cruise lines and the wi-fi is not very good and another big tip is to buy all your everyday essentials before you leave so i'm talking about things like sun cream Painkillers, paracetamol, indigestion, paste, shampoo, yeah, indigestion conditioner. tablets, underwear. I've heard people forget underwear and what? all sorts. Just make sure you've got everything because if you're going to be buying these on the ship or in port, these are going to be really expensive. Yeah, so guys, we really hope that you enjoyed all of our money saving tips. Let us know in the comments below if you have any of that we've missed out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below. And you can stay up to date with all of our videos by clicking the bell button below. So that's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising. That didn't sound right. <laughs> I was like, what? Do you remember you're like, what is our slogan? I've forgotten what it is.